Hi, my name is Sim, and today I'm going to be doing my vlog and review of the multi-purpose building on UCM's campus. Um, so as you can see, I'm standing on our big mule head. You know, we love we love the mule mascot around here. So you know, we love flexing because we love painting so big. So this is where our UCM mules, our men's basketball team, play, as well as our women's basketball team, our Jennies play. And um, then over to our right, you can see that we have volleyball nets set up. So this is where our volleyball team plays and they practice. And then if we keep looking left, <laughs> it's slipped all over the place here because it's so busy. This is where our wrestling team practices because currently the swimming pool is getting renovated into turning into the UCM wrestling's uh, like team arena so they can practice in there. But for right now, they're practicing beside us. And then also, whenever these bleachers are, when these bleachers are put up during the uh, during practices and stuff. We have our indoor track and field team and they practice in here at the same time. So when you think about it, we have four sports going at one time and they're, they all practice at the exact same time. The boys will be practicing, volleyball will be practicing, same with wrestling and track. So it's a very busy time. It's a very well used arena. And um, also while we're looking at it, these are our bleachers and stands. We have a very large selection of seats. And then way up there also like the box seats and that's where the radio people are and uh, stuff like that. And then also so to get into the construction of it, the, uh, this is the 47th year of service that the multi has. Um, and then so the uh, seating capacity for our bleachers is 6,500 uh, 6, people. And it's also the largest uh, seating arrangement in the MIAA in our conference. And, uh, and also, it, it can also hold 10,000 uh, attendees for concerts in case they ever had it. Because we have bleachers here, we have bleachers there, and the brown seats, because those are the older ones. And um, so, during um, the year of 1998 was the major renovation of uh, the floor. So, basically, the floor here that you see was not always wood. The whole square it like you used to have to, used to, have to have to roll it in and that's where uh the woody core would come from and so they replaced the uh, tartan surface on it and they eliminated the need for that portable wood floor they would have to uh, bring in and so um then the basketball court it didn't always look like this the mule was not always this big and um the court was not always this nice so in 2019 was when the court was renovated and changed to have this new design and more uh had a more uh I don't know how to say it, I guess, like new age, new age look, and it didn't look like the older retro look that, that used to be. And um, so also, it got a, uh, the, the multi in general, not the court, but in 2008, 2009, it got a change with the basketball season because they replaced the uh, general admission seating at the south of the, of the uh, arena, and then they made the lower uh, reserve section right here. And uh, so then in the summer of 2012, it, they added the four-sided scoreboard, which is way up there, and if it drops on me, I'm probably doomed. But, um, so that is a great thing because also, it does good at showing our sponsors and people who advertise for us. So if you ever come to any of the games or um, events that are held here, you'll see that during like timeouts and like quarter changes, if you look up there, it will have like, they'll have commercials for uh, like local businesses, they'll have commercials for anybody who advertises for us, and they'll also have promotions for like upcoming games or upcoming events that are held during the multi and um so the person who designed the multi originally is from uh kansas city missouri and it was an architectural firm um of mantle and teeter and it was managed by scott Tom thomason and uh so yeah as of right now i believe that that is the best review i can give you on this vlog um i work in here every day and that's about as all i can tell you i mean there's more offices and things up there, but those are more private offices, and that's just where the AD is, so we can't walk in there, and so this is the best you're going to get. Have a good one.